Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to solve this access governance super batch unit. And to unlock this super batch unit, we need to complete these two prerequisites. If you complete these two, then this access governance super batch unit will get unlocked. And before starting to the challenges, we need to sign up for the developer edition org. For that, click on this link. So here is the form to get the developer edition org. So fill all the details which are mentioned here. And after that, click on the sign me up button. Then you need to wait approximately 10 to 15 minutes of time to receive your developer edition org. So I already filled this form. So that's the reason I'm not again filling this form. And also I got the mail regarding this developer edition org. So here it is. It says about welcome to the Salesforce verify your account. So here we need to click on this verify account. Then we need to reset our password. So I already done with resetting the password also. Now I will show you how to connect this developer edition org to the trailhead. So first of all copy the username from this email. Then move to the instruction space. Just scroll down to the last and here click on these three dots and then here click on this connect out button. Now paste the username and also type the password. Then click on this login button. So here I need to enter the OTP which is sent to my email ID. After that click on this verify button. So here click on OK, then click Hello and finally click on this yes, Save It button. So like this we successfully connected the developer edition org. Let's move to the challenge one. So the name of the challenge one is Audit Privileged Users. So to start this challenge we need to launch the developer edition org. For that click on this launch button. So this is the setup page. Let's move to the challenge instructions. So these are the instructions that we need to complete. So move to this setup page and in this quick find search for user management settings. So click on this user management settings. And here scroll down and for this permission set and permission set group assignments click on this toggle button so that it will be enabled and after that in this quick find move to this permission sets so here it is click on this permission sets and here select this p letter and from here click on this platform customize application here click on this manage assignments and here Select this Rahul Patel name and then click on this edit button. So here select it as specify the expiry date and then select it as 30 days. And after that click on this assign button. So you can see that one assignments were successfully added. And after that here click on this permission set groups. And change this recently viewed to all, all permission set groups. And here select this persona sales representative. Here click on this permission sets in group. Click on this checkbox near to this opportunity sales D. And then click on this remove permission set. And finally click on this OK button. So we can see that the permission set was removed successfully. Then click on this done button. So move to the instruction space, just scroll down to the last and then click on this check the challenge button. So click accept. So like this we completed the challenge 1 and we got the 500 points. So let's move to the challenge 2 and the name of the challenge 2 is monitor data changes. So let's move to the challenge instructions. So here are the challenge instructions that we need to do. Move to this setup page and here click on this home button and also remove this permission in this quick find. So now move to this object manager and in this quick find search for opportunity. Click on this opportunity. 
and more to this fields and relationship here click on this set history tracking and here click on this enable opportunity field history and from these values we need to select close date opportunity owner stays and accounts so select all the check boxes close date opportunity owner stays and then amount so after selecting all the four click on the save button so after that move to this page layout here open this opportunity layout so from this select this related lists and after that drag this opportunity field history and top of this product so after adding this opportunity field history click on this save button and here click on this s button so like this we saved the page layout also and after that we need to create a new report so for that click on this launcher icon and here in this search search for reports so click on this reports so here click on this new report button so from this search search for opportunity field history so click on this opportunity field history and then click on this start report button so move to this filters tab and here click on this show me and from this drop down select it as all opportunities and then click apply and also for this edit date select the range as last 7 days so after that click apply and then for this include select it as any and then click apply so after updating all these filters just click on this save and run button so here we need to add the report name move to the instructions and copy this report name and here replace the report name and also we need to change this report unique name so copy the report unique name and here replace it and after that we need to change the folder also so click on this select folder and here select it as compilance reports and then click on this select folder so after doing all of this just click on this save button so we can see that the report was saved successfully so from this we need to move to the setup page again so for that click on this gear icon and here click on this setup button so in this quick find search for user interface so scroll down to the last and here it is click on this user interface so here we can see that enable delete from history so in this setup we can see that enable delete from field history click on this checkbox and then click on the save button so after that in this quick find search for permission sets so click on this permission sets here click on this new button so copy the label from the instructions that is delete field history and then add it here and after that click on this save button so from here just scroll down and then click on this system permissions and here click edit and just scroll down and we can see that enable delete from field history so here it is enable delete from field history so click on that checkbox and scroll down to the top and here click on the save button again click on this save so after that click on this manage assignments here click on this add assignment 
and from here click on the checkbox near to your name and then click next and here click on the specify the expiration date and select it as one day and then click on this assign button so like this we assign the user to the permission set and after that we need to export the data using this data loader dot io but uh, so many users getting the errors with this data loader dot io so i will explain in this video the alternate process of doing this task so go to the setup page and here click on this launcher icon and in this search search for accounts so here click on this account and change this recently viewed to all accounts and here click on this grand hotels and resorts limited and here in this account history we can see that i am having the three records so but we need having the only one record so here in this original value we can see that the credit card number is available but in the history we don't need to show the credit card exact number so what i need to do is so here click on this drop down and here click on this edit button so copy the account name and after that replace the letters i'm just removing this ltd and then clicking on this save button so again click on this grand hotels and resorts change this recently viewed to all accounts and here click on this any one account name again click on this drop down and here click on this edit so replace the account name with the copy name that is grand hotels and resorts limited and then click save button so here we can see that i'm having zero account histories so but we need one account history here so for that reason click on this details tab and here click on this pencil icon for this account number and replace the digits with some other digits like 26 or anything and then click on this save button so now move to this related tab and here we can see that i am having this one account history so like this i completed the task so move to the instruction space scroll down to the last and then click on this check challenge button So like this I completed the access governance super batch unit without any errors. Please do check out our channel education matters for next module answers and also super batch answers. And also please do share our channel to your friends. It will help them too. That's it. Thank you.